This game has an amazing 2D art style that looks like it could be straight from a Saturday morning cartoon. This game is a very rare three player game. This game has screen filling boss battles with different play styles. This game is Three Dirty Dwarves on the Sega Saturn. And my question for you is, why didn't you play this game? Growing up in a big family, we didn't take any elaborate family vacations. One year, we went to Prescott State Park in Erie, Pennsylvania. And on the way home, we stopped at a local mall in Erie. Like always, I searched for the KB toys in the mall. Before I found KB's, I found a different game store. I think it was a Funko Land. If anyone knows, put it in the comments. And to my surprise, it had a huge Sega Saturn collection. Most of my games back in the day I had to order over the phone, and there was not any prime two-day shipping back then. In that store, I found this game I never heard of called Three Dirty Dwarves. I looked at the back of the box, and it looked so cool. Back then, that's how you figured out which game you wanted to get, was by looking at the back of the box. I remember begging my dad for it and told him it was a game I could play with my brothers. Just because I never asked for things in stores growing up, and I caught my dad in a weak moment, he bought it for us. Three Dirty Dwarves is a side-scrolling beat-em-up that you control three dwarves. One uses a shotgun, one uses a bowling pin, and one is a baseball player. In single player mode, you switch between the characters. Whenever you get hit, your character is knocked out. You wake them up by smacking them. It's game over if all three players are knocked out. This game has several difficulty modes, but you only get to play all the levels if you play the hard mode. Admittingly, I hated that growing up because this game was tough. This was how games add replayability back in the day. Without it, you could probably rush through this game in under an hour. The game has some really good music, and it was one of those games that you could put in a CD player to listen to the music. I know you could do this with only some PlayStation games. Does anyone remember if you could listen to all the music from a Sega Saturn game on a CD player? I remember... I remember going over to my friend's house and bringing the game all the time simply to listen to the music because he was like most normal kids and didn't have a Saturn. We even used a song from the game as intro music for one of our wrestlers in our backyard wrestling league we had. Back to the game, it was fun one player, but like all beat em ups, this game was incredible with friends. We never had the multi tap, so the most we ever played was two players. But since there was three characters, I remember tons of fun arguing with the person that caused the game over that lost two of the three characters. Let's take a look at the stats for Three Dirty Dwarves. This game was released in North America on September 26, 1996. It was developed by Appaloosa Interactive and published by Sega. Unfortunately, Metacritic doesn't have a score for Three Dirty Dwarves. According to the game's Wikipedia page, it says Next Generation Magazine rated the game 3 out of 5 stars. A Next Generation critic remarked that the side-scrolling beat-em-up genre was becoming tired, but that Three Dirty Dwarves, while not generally innovative, offers just enough new spins on the tradition to make it a worthwhile venture. He found 
the varied and often surprising levels and the consistently solid challenge to be the key. Over to price charting, like most Saturn games, the price is really spiking on this game at over $150 complete. As for playing this game on modern hardware, there was a PC release, but beyond that, original hardware is the only option. Why does Sega keep releasing mini Genesises? We've all played those games a million times. How about a Saturn Mini? Or better yet, a Saturn Virtual Console on the Switch? Put in the comments what's your number one Saturn game you'd like on a Saturn Virtual Console. As for a similar current game, I'd check out the highly acclaimed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. Now, it's your turn to say why you didn't play this game. On episode 4 of Why Didn't You Play This Game, a bug racing game on the Nintendo 64? If you like more retro and Switch gaming videos with a Christian slant, you're in the right place, so go ahead and subscribe. You could be my 100th subscriber. Thanks for watching. You're a star. Your best days are ahead of you. God bless.